Hey guys, welcome to the Sharon Homestead. I'm Kat, and today we are not at the homestead. We are out at the community garden. And I wanted to show you what's been going on here, what progress I've done or we've done, and show you where everything's at. So, unfortunately, we had some really cold weather after I planted, and so, my zucchini and my green beans died. Um, I don't know if it frosted or not, but I know it got cold enough to, to just like kill everything. So my peas, they're okay. The new peas are coming in really, really well. I'll show you close up. The new peas are darker. These ones got some uh, cold damage, so they um, turned kind of yellow. And I am trying to get the weeds out of this bed. There's a lot of weeds because I haven't touched it. Um, I came out here, we came out here last weekend to do some work. We got the tall beds filled. I filled the beds with straw about three quarters of the way up and then we did wheelbarrows full of the dirt from the dirt piles and those are looking really good but this bed right here which is where the zucchini and the green beans were i don't even want to talk about it it's terrible so um my onions doing really really well there's some weeds that i need to take out not too worried about the weeds right now but i am going to go ahead and weed maybe not today because it's really really hot and i didn't get out here early enough this bed is very beautiful, no weeds, really nice dirt. There's, there's some weeds, to, some, there's some roots in here and I've been getting them out as I can. Hopefully they won't sprout. It's been a little while and they haven't sprouted yet. And so I'm hoping they're not going to, but you know how it is. And this bed also, very good. David came here and he did all the tough work of bringing the wheelbarrow loads of dirt down and filling the wheelbarrow for me. And I was just talking with someone else about gardening. So that was, that was really nice. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Um, not that he watches my videos cause he doesn't. Um, I've got plants everywhere. So the, I know it looks like a lot, but these are some of my sale plants as well. So I've got market more cucumbers. These are nasturtiums. They haven't sprouted yet. Not sure if they're going to. I talked to Mary about it and she said to soak them for 24 hours. That's what she does. So I'm probably gonna start some more, but for now, I'm just gonna let them try. These are pickling cucumbers. These are my cucumelons. They're taking forever to come up. Usually they're just super fast like cucumbers, but these ones really slow. Uh, I think it's just the climate that I'm in doesn't want to go. So then I've got cabbage, it's red cabbage, green cabbage, and broccoli. And I've got zucchini here in the car too. It's just, they keep on wilting during the day. I don't know if I want to even chance putting it here or if I want to just plant it at home in the shade. Oh, we'll see. I'll see how I'm feeling in a few minutes, but I ran out of green bean seeds. Oh, that breeze feels nice, but I don't have it. So I think for this bed over here that was already beans, this bed right here, I'm going to put these beans in there. I hate buying seeds from the store, but it is what it is. Now, I planted a bunch of zinnias and I believe that's what this is I planted them between yeah it's got to be what it is I planted them between my um, uh, zucchini plants when they were here so I'm guessing that's what those little things are I don't know oh I planted some other type of flower too I don't remember this looks specific though it doesn't look like a weed maybe it is they just look scattered like i did it anyways 
the lady that runs the garden here just came here, so I was able to talk to her and she told me it's gonna rain. I wasn't gonna stay because I wanna come here Friday morning when it's cool. It's really hot right now, but, and yes, 85 degrees is hot. I don't like it. I don't want to be here at this time. So anyways, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do and I'll let you know when I know. But since somebody's gonna be here, I'm probably not gonna plant right now because I feel weird filming while somebody's here. But I'll just put my plants in the shade and I'll come back here on Friday morning to finish. But I just wanted to give you a little update on the garden and the plants. And I want to give you an update at the house too, but I'll do a separate video for that. Um, we have done a lot at home. We've moved things around, cut down a lot of trees. Um, David helped us with some of the trees. He had a four day weekend, so it was really nice to be able to have him with us to work on some things at home. So I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do because the baby's starting to cry, so I don't know when David gets off work. So let me decide what I'm gonna do and I will be back or I won't. And I did, I did wanna share that my sixth bed, well, this is the first one because this is number five. This bed is pretty much gonna be useless to me because it is full of oregano and peppermint and it's spreading everywhere. So I might see even over on this side of the bed, it's all over. So I would literally have to pull all the dirt out of here and restart. And I really don't wanna do that. I like peppermint. So I'm just gonna harvest the peppermint that's in here and do some tea and stuff like that. And then oregano, obviously. We use a lot of oregano, so I might as well just use it. But it was disappointing because I lost two of my beds and the person hasn't even come here and planted yet. Um, they haven't even weeded them, I'll show you. And on, on the sheet it says they haven't even paid. But anyways, th these are the two beds I was supposed to get. And nothing no work on them at all and I would have had four beds that one that one that one and that one so it would have been really nice to have them all in a row except for that middle one which is a strawberry bed community strawberry bed and that's not gonna happen so I might just plant some more herbs in there and see what happens um I can get these beds every year pretty much since I live here and need them at least i do need them this year he, dee -dee. he got scratched by the little kitty cat the cat was cuddling with us while we were sleeping in the cat i don't even know why she got upset and jumped up i think one of the other kids went to grab her anyways we watched the documentary and it had eagles in it and it reminded us of him because of his little fuzzy head and his little boogie eyes. Right, Asher? All right, so what I've decided to do is put my plants on the side and plant them on Friday morning. So I'll see you guys back here then when I come back on Friday morning. But I'm gonna move the plants out of the car into the shade. I don't know, maybe I'll just bring them home. I'm so scared to, I don't, I'm scared to lose them. But I need to give this lady that runs the community garden, I need to give her four broccoli plants. So I might just do that real quick and put the rest of the plants in the car because I'm scared. I'm scared to leave them here. They're my babies. I've been babying them for so long. I don't want to just like all of a sudden leave them here and then die like overnight or something. Even though the nightly temperatures are fine. Anyways, let me get these plants in the car. Well guys, it's the next day. I decided to go the next day instead of Friday. Uh, the sun is just coming up over the trees. 
and I am getting ready to plant. All right, so I finally got a plan for my garden. I actually planted two zucchinis yesterday because I was giving the lady those um, broccoli plants and I needed a pot. So I went ahead and did that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start planting now. Ugh, it's so early, it's 5.30 right now. And I'm tired, but let's get this done because it's too hot during the day. So I wanna do it in the morning before the sun is scorching hot. So let's get this done. Okay, so far I got the zucchini down the sides and then I decided to put tomatoes here. So I put two of the Druzba tomato plants here. And then I'm putting the Glacier tomatoes down the center. And then on the end, I'll put two cherry tomato plants. Just excuse my hair because um, first of all, my hair is coming in from postpartum hair loss or whatever. And now it's coming back. So it's like all spiky in the front. Anyways, I lost my hair tie. So we're, our braid is coming out but we're good. I know that this spacing, it's not correct, but I intensive, I am intensively planting this garden. Um, intensely, intensively, I don't know what to call it. I am doing a ton in each bed because it's a raised bed. It has really good soil in it. I'm going to fertilize it. I know that it can handle all these plants. I've done this before um, and it did really well, but I'm, I'm actually doing more than I've ever done. So we'll, we'll see. Like I said, it's all an experiment. I have to get as much as possible in these beds. And if you look at other people's beds, we're just gonna do, well, let's just do this one for example. This is probably pretty close to how you're supposed to um, plant this bed. There's kale. And then there's tomatoes in the middle and there's marigolds on the sides. And I think, I think these are onions. Anyways. What, buddy? He not a happy camper today. He doesn't want to sit here. He wants to be carried around, but I forgot my carrier. So they're doing it correct. And I'm doing it correct too, because um, I've done it this way, it works. And it's gonna work for me this year. It has to work for me this year. So I'm gonna have a lot of tomato plants in this bed and a lot of zucchini plants. And we're gonna grow a lot of food this year. And I didn't, I didn't bring my tripod, so it is way too hard to try to film, but I'll just show you as I go along. All right, guys. The sun is hot, but I am done, I think. I feel like I'm done. Let me show you what I've done today. I'm really excited. First of all, I covered this bed. The peas are on this side and then this is just empty. I have things at home that I need to plant and I'm not sure uh, what they are. I can't remember. So <laughs> I can't remember what they are, but I think I have things like okra and things. They Probably, I'll probably just put them on our wood line, just in a little ditch or something like that. But we'll see, I'm not sure. So let me show you what I've done. It's pretty exciting. I'd like to start off in this bed. I didn't do anything to it today. Next time I come, I'm gonna handle this bed. So there's a lot of weeds, or mostly grass, but then there's a lot of herbs. So, so far I know that there's oregano and there's um, chocolate mint. So one of my goals, one of my goals is to sell teas and herbs and things like that. So that helps with that goal. So I'm gonna leave them there and then see what happens. So now let me show you bed number 11. This is bed number 11. This is the zucchini and tomatoes. So I've got the two Druzba tomatoes on the end. Then the rest of these are glacier tomatoes until you get to the very end, there's three cherry tomatoes plants. 
And then there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 zucchini plants in this bed. Then we'll move over to 21. And this is all pepper plants. I'm not going to count them. I have three rows of King of the North and then one extra one. I have three extra zucchini plants here. And then I have a whole row of purple cayenne peppers and a whole row of pimento peppers over here. So that is bed number 21. Here is bed number 22. This is onions and there's some grass in there. I'll weed on another day. I wanted to get the garden planted and I have to water it still. So let's go into bed number 19. And Asher is chewing on some peas over there, some pea, pea sprouts. And we've got, goodness gracious, we've got Boston pickling cucumbers on this side. I'm gonna put a trellis in the middle. I've got more tomatoes on the sides, just glacier, or these are cherry tomatoes, and then glacier tomatoes on the other side. And then we've got market more cucumbers here. And then in the middle, I've got all three rows of green beans. So blue like bush beans, which is my favorite. I wish I could have had Mary's, but I, they died. And then I had to buy some quickly. So I direct sowed these beans and I am not a direct sower. I don't like direct sowing. It's just so much of a, like an unknown. It's just really annoying to me. I like to start the seeds at home in pots. I do it with everything and it's aggravating to me to leave right now with seeds in the ground and not sprouted. It's really, ugh, I don't like it, but that's what we're going to do because that's all we can do. Cause I can't come back, you know, in a few days after they sprout and all that, I got to come back and plant that other bed and handle my herbs. I was going to say, I think in that herb bed, I'm going to plant more herbs. I have a lot of herbs at home. <laughs> that I need to plant and so I might as well use that bed since it's already herbs and just plant a whole bunch of herbs. Again, this is bed number 20, number 20, and this is peas, and then the rest of it is empty. So after two days of being in the garden, I'm ready to go home. Got kids at home waiting for me and I am happy to have all this done. Yes. I have more planting to do, but for now, this is great. It's June 1st, so it's so much later than I'm used to planting, but hey, we got it done. We're in a new climate, so that's it is what it is. So let's see what this year is going to do for us. So thank you guys so much for coming along with me, planting in the community garden, and yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.